Okay, so Steve is cleaning up the kitchen because well, I, didn't, I didn't do it last night. I know, I know, but it's okay. <laughs> this I'm part. actually doing my ice. Let's be honest. Oh, it's okay. It's very self-serving, but big news: Arizona has something new, and it's Guy Fieri like pop-up restaurants. So right. we're visiting Flavor Town tonight, apparently. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty excited because last time I had something Guy Fieri was from Disney Springs. So. Yeah, it was the what was it? Chicken, Chicken guy. guy. Chicken Guy. Chicken Guy. So actually. My meal is actually the chicken guy sandwich. So. so we'll see how it compares. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. By the way, I didn't go to MIT, but I did visit MIT. So in case anybody asks this, because I know this, these questions pop up, but <laughs> I'm a poser. I'm a poser. So here we go. But Flavor Town, right over here. So I was on DoorDash and I was like looking for like new things that popped up. And sure enough, this was Guy Fieri's Flavor Town. And I, I took turned to Steve. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. usually you see something being built, but. I looked it up. Apparently, it's a pop-up delivery-only service. Which is kind of cool. So basically what they're doing is using the capacity of current restaurants that maybe not be uh, utilizing as much. And you know, Guy Fieri is utilizing their kitchens and teaching them how to use their or make his food. So good for us. We get a yeah. little bit of variety because, let's be honest, we all have like Zoom fatigue, but we also have DoorDash fatigue. And this is a nice, new, fresh offering for us. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Okay, I was, so I was kind of struggling opening this. They put the burger in like sideways. Like... Is that sideways the right way? Like, I was like, oh, that's weird. Usually the burger would be, like, yeah. flat like this. Yeah. It was like this. <laughs> but, like, look at the container. Like, this is literally the chicken guy container. And if you look at the top, it actually says chicken guy. So yeah. So, I think this... Well, I haven't opened it up yet. That's probably your sandwich. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it is. But it's, like, a sticker on there. But even it has, like, the cool sauces on the side that you can mm -hmm. get from Disney Springs. So, right. I'm kind of excited about this. Yeah. Oh, and then also, I got this. This is a chocolate whiskey chocolate cake. Or, yeah chocolate whiskey cake sounded really good here's my burger looks really good it smells good too so admittedly we went a little crazy tonight we did so, we uh, always do this when we find a new place exactly we want to try all the new things so right. we got the chicken sandwich but i also got their chicken wings which looks pretty good like i'm a, I'm a sucker for chicken wings so i'm very excited about that i'm actually very surprised because they had a whiskey chicken wing like a sauce but you didn't get that i know but i saw that you got the the whiskey chocolate cake so i figured mm -hmm. you know i'll right. probably be drinking whiskey with this so i think we have enough whiskey yeah <laughs> all around. so here i am gonna break open the chicken sandwich to see if it looks just like the one at um, disney springs all right i have to admit like mike said this as well i'm kind of like <laughs> it's weird who put sandwiches in sideways like look at that like yeah i mean it looks good but like i don't know maybe this it's more efficient packaging we're just not used to i'm sorry so I'm sure it's gonna be good, but I'm gonna actually start with the chicken wings first. All right, we have quite the spread here. So <laughs> chicken wings, chicken sandwich. What was it? This was your burger, right? That's that was my burger. Right now? Yeah. And how is it? This burger, it's really, really good. Wow. Right. I am very surprised because after I ordered, I kind of went back on and I saw it didn't have the best reviews. It had like a 3.3, 3, yeah. which I think is out of five. Uh, this is probably one of the best burgers I've had in a long time. Wow. It's really, it's and just got, it's got a ton of flavor. Like flavor town flavor? Is that what we're talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now Mike is a totally, like he's total like burger guy. Like if you mm -hmm. go to like a restaurant or whatever, he's going to check out the burger first. Right. Like, of course, because you know, I, I saw Guy Fieri. I was like, okay, well he's definitely like chicken guy. I wanted the chicken sandwich. So that's mm -hmm. what I expected, but. I'm surprised that the burger's that good. I hope they stick around. I hope this is a permanent thing. Right, and so this is just a basic cheeseburger. The one that they're really famous for had bacon on it and mac and cheese. Huh. And I was like, that's a little much. I like to kind of gauge a restaurant by how they can do just a classic cheeseburger. Yeah. This is amazing. That's totally your thing. So yeah. let me see what it looks like, actually. I'm not sure if you showed it all. Yeah, it's, yeah I showed it. Looks like it's like a two-hand burger, what yeah. I would say. It's like not your basic like order-out stuff. So. Oh, yeah, it's definitely messy. Yeah, and what do you have over here? What's this? And this is the fries. These are just their like signature crinkle cut fries. Are they seasoned at all or are they just basic fries? Yeah, they have a little bit of seasoning on there. It's just right. It's perfect. Okay. Very delicious. Awesome. So Mike, you're gonna totally like this. So it has a like, nice like crisp crunch to it. It's very actually really fresh. I think you're gonna like it. It's not overly, it's not overly like saucy, spicy with it. So mm -hmm. I think the flavors are actually pretty good here. Hmm. So I'm a big fan of these. Wow. Can't wait to get to the chicken sandwich. Ooh, I forgot to order without tomato. Oh. oh. That adds, you know. For you, you're happy. But I love tomato. I'm just going to throw that <laughs> nasty thing out. Mine had pickles. I forgot to uh, take off the pickles, but it actually tasted okay. All right, so both of us are miserable. There we go. <laughs> 
So this is a perfect like chicken sandwich. So it's like buttermilk fried. You could totally tell like the flavors are really good with this. The one thing I would say is that when you go to like chicken guy, you have all those different sauces you get on top of this. This is just a basic chicken sandwich, which it's very good for what it is. But I think I'm used to like with chicken guy, you have like all those like variable different sauces that you see on, on the side of this container right here mm -hmm. that kind of enhance it. So I might actually put some truff hot sauce on top of it. So oh, that'd be good. We'll see. But overall, the flavor profile is pretty pretty good on this. Well, then now you should take a, try my burger and compare. So I just took a bite of Steve's chicken sandwich. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. I don't remember honestly what Chicken Guy tasted like because it's been over a year now since we've been there. Right. But it was really good. I liked it. I can definitely see what you were saying about it. Maybe some of the sauces would have been a nice addition to it. Yeah, I think the last time we went to Chicken Guy, we got the chicken fingers just for the sake of mm -hmm. like dipping everything left and right. So yeah. With the sandwich, though, I think it's it's actually really good. It doesn't taste like it's it like is old good. oil or anything like that. Right. Like it's pretty fresh. So. This is far messier yeah, than it's very my messy. sandwich, so we'll see. I'm inspecting for tomato. We'll <laughs> see. Looks like it's good. So I would say is that it has, I don't want to say it has far more flavor, but it's definitely like a perfect like diner burger. Right. Like that, sure. that's perfect. Like you, the burger is amazing. The bun's really, really actually good. It says it's a garlic buttered brioche bun. Wow, that's really flavorful. Yeah. So, wow. <laughs> Who knew we were a Guy Fieri fan? So yeah. here we are. This is this is actually a really good meal. I'm very happy with this. So. Yeah, me too. I was I was not expecting this. Not at all. I figured like it was gonna be just a basic like I don't know like not McDonald's but like pretty close. Like it's like a I don't know. We we've never actually been to any place else outside of Chicken Guy, so I had right. no expectations. But this is phenomenal. I'm I'm a big fan. Yeah, I'm very happy. So good job, Mike. You talked us into this. Yep. So here's Steve's project for Sunday. Yeah, so Mike wanted creeping vines on our gazebo. So <laughs> I wanted. You did say that. You're like, you're at Starbucks. You're like, God, I would like this. Well, it did look pretty. Yeah, so here we are. <laughs> so doing that, he's going to have to do the craft project of doing the netting around that. But yeah. you're up to that challenge. Okay. And then a couple more replacement plants throughout the backyard. So. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Sunday, oh, I Sunday. thought these were going to go over here. No? How would they go over here? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. I got this. <laughs> hey, you want to show everybody the new plants we planted today? Yeah. Okay, let's show them. There's a plant. It's that one. Too. Yeah, what about over here? Is there another one over here? Right there. Yeah. It's green. So obviously these are going to be vines that we hope will go over the pergola, but you kind of have to have like this little, you know, guard here for it to be trained. And then we just added some bougainvilleas back here just because the plants from last season didn't survive. So this is a nice sunny activity. Right, Caleb? Oh yeah, we fertilize with blue stuff, so he's obsessed with that as well, so gotta love it. Hey everyone, it is very early, so <laughs> I don't even know if this is gonna make it into the video. I don't, I, I God only knows what I look like, but Steve and I were talking last night and Steve was like, you should do a video where you start vlogging, like right off the bat, first thing in the morning, like just show everybody like what we do to get Caleb ready for school. And I was like, are you serious? Like as if there's not enough going on in the morning and there's not enough stress. But Caleb and I woke up super early, so I don't know. I figured we'd try it out. Right now, I'm just waiting for the espresso machine to warm up so I can make my coffee. And here's little man. Say, go, go, can you say good morning? Good morning. Oh, you're so sweet. And here he is. He's got the Roomba going. He's obsessed with this thing. <laughs> you cleaning the floors first thing in the morning? Yeah. So it is a little after 6.30 right now and this is Caleb's new thing. He's been doing this for a while now. He gets up around like 6, 6.15. Uh, it used to be 7, 7.15. Um, but oh well, we're getting used to it. It works for him. And um, he's obsessed with our Roomba and sometimes our Roomba will get like stuck on something so it doesn't make it back to the dock. It's weird because if the Roomba makes it back to the dock, Caleb doesn't touch it. He doesn't like going around. He won't get the Roomba out or anything. He'll just leave it alone. But if it's out and about, like stuck somewhere, he's obsessed with it and he wants to play with it. And I just figure, fine, whatever. You know, he's in a good mood. But the Roomba keeps him occupied. He loves looking at the buttons. He always has a million questions. This morning we talked about how it doesn't take batteries. It takes one single battery that gets recharged. 
he's always fascinated with that kind of stuff. But it's also really good because we actually got, um, Caleb's school reached out to all the parents um, like last semester saying, please, as much as you can, avoid TV in the morning before school starts. Apparently the kids have a harder time focusing if they've been in front of the TV all morning. I don't know. But we used to always do that. We used to like, Caleb would get up, we'd come downstairs, I'd make him breakfast, and then I'd let him sit at his little table and he'd watch Blippi or Sesame Street while he ate. But then when the school said, you know, please refrain from turning the TV on before school days, we had to change our schedule. So this is perfect. It keeps him occupied, it keeps his brain going. I don't know, it works. And to the surprise of no one, we didn't clean up from dinner last night. <laughs> But uh, last night was St. Patrick's Day, as I mentioned, and our meal kit offered a St. Patrick's Day uh, meal, and it was cottage pie with grass-fed ground beef topped with scalloped tomatoes. It was so good. It turned out so well. I was actually kind of bummed out that we didn't vlog it, but yeah. And then, hey, bud, remember yesterday morning? What happened yesterday morning for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> No, we didn't play with the Roomba. Remember the leprechaun came? What did he what did he bring you? It's golden. Gold? Oh yeah, it's yummy. What are you doing with your hands? So yesterday a little leprechaun visited our house and came and brought all of his gold and hid it all around the house. So little man here had a blast yesterday morning going around the house finding all the gold. That was fun, huh? I have a suspicion that you didn't find all the gold though. I think there's still some gold hiding around in the house. <laughs> we have a pile of masks. We got three new orders of Disney masks for our upcoming Disney trip. We're getting ready for it. We're so excited. But we got like, we got the Mickey Mouse set. We got a Star Wars set. You got your spoon? All right, go ahead and eat your yogurt. Yeah, so a lot of cute, I, a lot of cute ones in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and wash them, and yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys! I just logged into Facebook. Look what came up on my timeline. Little seven-month-old Caleb in his Easter basket. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna insert the real pictures here. Look at those chubby little cheeks. This is his Easter basket from William Sonoma. I remember I was so excited when I got it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a picture of him inside it. It'll be so cute. Oh, time flies. Okay, so one thing I like to do when we start getting ready is I wash out Steve, Caleb. I almost called him Steve. Caleb gets his, he's got his little water bottle that he takes to school. This thing is always so greasy and sticky at the end of the day, so I always wash it off. And then I go ahead and fill it up with some fresh water. I'm doing this one-handed. All right, so Caleb is in the shower right now with Dad, and I've got his water bottle, his mask, and his bar. He always gets a bar in the car on the way to school, so I like to get this ready, so it's one less thing I have to stress out about at the last minute. Okay, little man's getting ready for school. <laughs> God, you're, why are you looking at the camera? Focus on your legs. Silly. Look at your legs, put your legs through. Steve so doesn't have any calls this morning, so he's gonna go with us to the drop off. Yeah. Okay, push. Push. There you go. All right, let's go downstairs and get your shoes on. Okay. Oh, okay, let's get in the car. I'm in there, bud. Okay, here, can you take his stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yes, so many. So many things. <laughs> All right, so we are in the car. We're gonna go take little man to school. Again, this is very unusual. Usually it's just me. I just throw him in the car and we just go and then I come back and start my chores. But yeah, so Steve's gonna join us. Maybe we'll go grab some breakfast. So Caleb's drive to his school is probably like, I don't know, six miles, but it has at least 35 lights. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. And I like cursed myself literally like four lights ago. I'm like, Mike is probably up so upset because it's the only time I'm with him and I'm hitting every single <laughs> green light. And then I about to set it and all of a sudden it's been red, 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 red. So the drive to his school is either very smooth or very, very long. Yeah, and it's a straight shot. There's it, no turns or anything. Completely it's, straight shot. It's just all stop and go traffic. But also turning out of our neighborhood sometimes can be a nightmare as well. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, makes this a nice long drive for us to be together as a family. <laughs> And I think it's funny. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but Caleb hasn't learned yet how to <laughs> properly chew. <laughs> Not quite good on the etiquette on that. So there's like some very loud, mouthy, out loud, open mouth, granola bar chewing. and Just a little irritating first yeah, thing in the morning. But the first time I ever said, I heard Mike say, Caleb, can you please close your mouth? <laughs> it was all... 
Let's take it. <laughs> All right, did you finish your granola bar? Yes. Yeah? You ready to go to school? Have a fun day? Yes, it's dark in there. <laughs> it's not yeah. that dark in here. <laughs> so say bye-bye, I'm going to school. Bye-bye, I'm going to school. All right, so we dropped off Caleb at school, and now we're going to run into Target for a few things. And then Steve is placing an online order because we're going to grab some breakfast. That's right. And, of course, I have to remember I have to uncheck everything that Mike doesn't like in his actual meal. So, <laughs> I just super easy. Just no avocado. That's it. Oh, okay. Are you sure? I thought there was something else. <laughs> we're ordering from this place called Shop Shop. We'll show you, but it's, like, super healthy. It's not my favorite place. It's because but... it's too healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, like, a McDonald's breakfast or something. That's right. Looks like you can order from a kid's menu. Maybe that might be a more up your alley. <laughs> I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but my weakness, it really is. And I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I have a big weakness for McDonald's. I absolutely love Why it. Why are you embarrassed? Because it's, it's just, an establishment. It's fine. I know, but it's it's just, it's not healthy for you. And, you know, I don't know. Whatever you do, you. I could eat it every day. It's so good. <laughs> I feel like something bad's happening. <laughs> So I grabbed the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Error processing request. I think it's this area. This area has the worst Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Or not Wi-Fi, but like service. I don't know. Ah. I think I sense McDonald's in our future. <laughs> we will see. We will see. <laughs> I just want to order. Ah. And then it makes you like log in with like your Facebook password or information. Like I don't know. What Actually, that is. you know what we should do? We should go into Target and jump on their Wi-Fi, and then you can submit the order. This seems way too involved. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe we'll get McDonald's. <laughs> I've been standing out here for five minutes. He's still trying it, guys. Oh my gosh! I can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's my name. How is it not connecting? I don't understand. Uh, I, I told you, let's go inside and get on the Target Wi-Fi. Oh, I have to select my favorite shop first. What? I had to select my favorite shot. What? Like, why do you... Why do you need my gender to take my order? <laughs> what? Oh, they're making me sign up for a royalty thing. Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm just hanging out. Can you see my reflection? Just waiting. Just waiting to go in. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't work now that we've talked about McDonald's so much. Guess what? We're getting points for this meal. Now we're a loyal member. <laughs> Yay. Place order. So one of the things we've been thinking about is getting little man his own suitcase because, you know, we did get him an, a ticket so he has gonna, he's going to have his own seat and everything. So he can he can bring some luggage. But I don't know. I'm having a hard time finding one. First of all, this is the only one that they have here that like I, I don't he's definitely gonna, not going to want a what is that? LOL surprise. But I don't know. I just think this might be a little too big for him. And it's Fifty dollars, not terrible, but I don't know. It's it's cute. I definitely I saw some online that were really cute, but like for some reason the thing that they do is they monogram the name on there, and I really don't want my child's name on his suitcase when we're in a busy airport. Maybe that's just me being a little bit too, I don't know. But yeah, not many options here. This is so cute. I really like this one. This one might be a good size for him. But holy moly, $140? I don't know about that. Yikes. All right, and so this is where we're eating. This is Original Chop Shop. So this looks like it's yours. That's good. All right. Get some salsa on that. So this is called the Cheap Day Wrap. It's got some scrambled eggs. Um, I added bacon to it. And then I got and... avocado toast. Oh. With Supposed to be egg whites. Yeah, it looks like egg whites. It's like scrambled egg whites with bacon and avocado. Yeah. Looks yummy. Well, it's no McDonald's. It's good. It's not going to hit the spot like McDonald's does, but this is better for me. Well, if it makes you feel better, you can literally walk to McDonald's right over here. Right. So it's close enough. And we're in that like weird time of Arizona where like it gets warm in the afternoon and it's freezing in the morning. So it's freezing. We're not prepared for this. So. It's freezing and it's windy, which makes it worse. Yeah, so it's probably like 50 degrees right now, but in the afternoon it's going to be 78, so yeah. uh, it's bipolar weather, anyhow. So do you I honestly see McDonald's in your future? No, this will be fine. This will be All right, fine. that's good. That's good. Be fine. How is yours? Mine's good. And the best thing is, I don't have to share it with Mike because it's covered in avocado, so <laughs> it's actually pretty good. For avocado toast, I mean, you're not really like reinventing the world here with that, but I added the bacon, which definitely 
gives it a little bit extra. Did you say reinventing the world? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cold, I think we're actually gonna eat in the car. Yeah, so. I had, I had grand, once again, I had grand visions for a nice little breakfast vlog. But visions of grand It's so windy. All right, let's warm things up here a bit. <laughs> let's get some. Oh, that's much better, right, Mike? <laughs> Ooh, I can already feel God. it being warmer. <laughs> it doesn't actually, does it turn on the Yeah, so your, heat? your seat heaters are on, and oh. then it adjusts the heat over here, and then my steering wheel is also heated as well, so. <laughs> And I think if you turn on this music, it plays like, this is like the romance mode, so it does like, Jeez. yeah, Marvin Gaye stuff, so, yeah. At least we're warm. Yeah. All right. We'll eat breakfast in here. So I still have the other half of my cheat day wrap. I forgot to talk about this, so this is called the cheat day wrap, and because like, this is, for the most part, a healthy restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is like the one item they have for breakfast that's not like healthy, but it still tastes pretty healthy. Not as easy to cut in a car, <laughs> and like it's it's healthy toast, so it's like impossible to cut with like these flimsy like, like plastic wares. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit too warm. Right it's now. actually getting very warm in here now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's really hot. It's getting really hot in here. Now we have to open the door. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's, it's a, a little bit. <laughs> Let some of that wind in here. Listen, we understand. We are Arizonans. We we can't we can't deal with weather except for hot and heat. So we're also very high maintenance. Yeah, so. me especially. But. Yes, you are. Do you see me in this mirror? Sort of. <laughs> How about we just go home? Let's let's, let's go, home. go home. Yeah, I don't think we can deal with the outdoors today. <laughs> All right. So we're cracking up right now because Steve's car. He has the ability to like have his text read out loud yeah. by the car. And I was totally remembered, our friend once sent us a text back and it was like, ha 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 ha, and the car played it. Oh my God, it was the most obnoxious <laughs> sounding thing. It was like breathy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, we should do it right now. We can, we can right, show you guys. Right. Here we go. Mike Militate says, have a have a have And now it is afternoon. It's about, yeah, it's 11.45. Um, we, we got home and I went ahead and imported the footage and started editing this video. And it's one of those things where it's like, man, you know, Caleb only goes half day. You blink your eyes and it's already time to go pick him up. So Steve was still, he just doesn't have a very busy day today, which is really nice. Um, so he's joined us to pick up Caleb. I doubt we're gonna go grab lunch. Um, just because we had that big breakfast, but let's see how a uh, little man's day at school went today. So when you go pick up Caleb, he is half day. Everybody else there is kind of full day, so they're having their lunch right now. Every single kid is so talkative. <laughs> like, are you Caleb's daddy? I knew it. I knew it. I like your car. What color is it? It's a black car. Wow, that's awesome. Can I sleep over? Do you have two beds in Caleb's room? Can we do that? Can we color? Can you come over here and help me cut my cheese? No, kid. I'm just picking up Caleb. <laughs> Do you have a lot of friends at school? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're talking. Yeah, they're talking. Did you have a good day at school? Yes. Good. All right, so Caleb just went down for his nap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we came home. We made him some lunch. He watched a little bit of Coco. Made a ton of mess. Like, yeah. <laughs> whatever. It's been kind of a weird day for me. A little bit off. So, like I said, I didn't have work this morning. Uh, so, I was a family man today. Yeah. So we dropped off Caleb, picked him up from school, had some lunch. So it's been a pretty low key day. So mm -hmm. ah, I'm tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> I don't know how Mike does this all the time. So kudos to you. Good job, dad. Yeah. <laughs> well, we need to build up our energy because we've got Disney World coming up. We do. So yes. we're gonna have to rally on those days. <laughs> I think so. We're just building up, you know, our endurance. That, that's what we got to work on. So endurance for sure. But it's just, you know, it's been kind of a crazy week. So yesterday was uh, St. Patrick's Day. We did mm -hmm. a little bit of celebration with Caleb on that. So we yeah. had a lot of fun with that. Um, but it seems like every single day there's something going on. So right. new activity. So it's busy time, which is fantastic. I'm happy with that. So mm -hmm. in case some of you were wondering, um, we are now what? two? We it's two weeks today since we've had our first dose yeah, of yeah. the vaccine. In fact, I get mine a week from the second dose, a week from today. So next week. Right. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to try and go with you as well because they say there's like a 24 hour window so if you yeah. show up 24 hours before your 
appointment or 24 hours after, you can you can technically still get it. Well, the worst case is you have an appointment the next day. So That's true. Yeah. But I just thought it would be nice if I can just hitch a ride with you, we'll go up together, just bang this out at the same time. Because, again, Mike is directly challenged. So <laughs> driving up to Phoenix twice I did in not, one month, I'm not sure that's going to work well. I did not include that little segment when you were talking about oh, me being okay. directionally challenged. <laughs> But uh, I am. Yes, you are. You're very, very challenged in that. But, oh, well, we'll figure it out. It'll be fun. So we'll do the vaccine uh, next week. We'll have uh, some time for it to develop its efficacy, I think is what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be on a plane and heading out to Orlando for Disney World fun. I can't wait for it. It's going to yeah. be a ton of fun. Which, by the way, it's been so long since we've been. Reservations are very hard to get. Dining yes. reservations. So thankfully, we're able to piece, piece a few of them together. But we'll still have a great time. Yeah, so we have our theme park reservations. So we've got a park for every single day that we're there. And then we actually do have a pretty good amount of dining reservations. It took us a couple days to kind of collect that. So yeah, it's not like our... It. It's not like our first, like, what do you call it? Like, it's our first request or whatever. It's like, it's not yeah. the places where we were really, really hoping to get into, but we do have, I think, almost two dining reservations per day. Yeah. So. And listen, we're, we, we have no right to complain. Two a day For is sure. pretty good. So. Yeah, definitely. They're just not, again, they're in Disney Springs and stuff like that, which is a place we typically don't dine at. So. Yes. And I was actually going to say, because a lot of you have asked if we if we would do any more Disney Springs dining, yeah. and that's usually not the first thing we gravitate towards, but we're going to be doing a lot of Disney Springs this time around. I yeah. think we've got um, Wine Bar George. We've got... Boathouse? Are we doing Boathouse? Yes, we're doing okay. Boathouse. Yeah. We've done Boathouse a couple times, but this will be the first time we've ever vlogged it. And I don't know how ambitious we are, but we might try to get into Gideon's to uh, get one of those cookies. Oh. So I, it, uh, it's like a two and a half hour virtual wait. So I, I'm good on that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Definitely. So. I wonder if you can like go and like put your name in and get your time to come back and then go eat somewhere and then just come back when you're done eating. I, don't I know. think you have to show up within the moment that they text you. You have like 15 oh. minutes. You got to do it. So. Okay. But uh, from what we've seen in vlogs, it's about two and a half hour virtual yeah. queue. So we'll see. Very, very excited though, because we did get Topolino's Terrace for dinner on Absolutely. Saturday night. So. And we'll probably reserve one night just to pop into Bull and Bear Lounge just because that's one yeah. of our go-tos. So. That would be great. I don't know if the lounge is open, but we're definitely going to check it out. We'll figure we it out. Yeah. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for us today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.